Today I am finally fixing an issue which has plagued so many of my own PC builds. Even the epic 3D printed ducted system which I built recently, that had this issue as well. And the issue is this. Whenever you have fan blades which are really close to a vented panel, you get a lot of turbulence. And usually there's a small decrease to temperatures, a small hit to airflow, but worst of all, it sounds really bad. Like usually it's an alternating humming sound, a higher pitch tone, or maybe just like a really choppy sounding air. Now the good news is the geniuses at Noctua have already created a very simple mod for this, which they're calling the IS-1. It's basically a fan spacer which prevents the fan blades from getting too close to a heat heat sink, a radiator or a vented panel, and creating all of that really annoying turbulence. The bad news is it's only compatible with their own Noctua fans, which I mean, okay, I can kind of understand it is their own product to begin with, but I'm just gonna create the same thing. Hopefully they don't mind, and I'm gonna make it compatible with every fan out there. But before that, I do have some questions. The main one being, what actually is the optimal thickness for a fan spacer like this? Noctua's own spacer is five millimeters thick, and I trust that they did their own complex airflow modeling and pressure tests, but is there still a benefit to a smaller two or three millimeter spacer? What about seven millimeters? Is there any extra benefit that you get from that? These are the type of questions that really keep me up at night. So I just need to test them out. In terms of creating the fan spacer though, it is brutally simple. We just take the top face of a fan and extrude it upwards in some 3D software, and that's pretty much it. I've made the center hole here as large as possible so there's no impeding the airflow, and I've made three different thicknesses, 2.5, 5, and 7.5 millimeters. I also made a small indent around the screw positions to make sure that these fit flush on every fan out there, and that is pretty much all there is to it. But do they actually work? Well, yeah, uh, actually, Actually, the sound difference is very noticeable. I did some case fan testing first, I mounted a sound pressure reader really close to the test system and cycled through a range of different RPMs with and without the different spaces. Here's a graph showing how much the sound increases as the fan speed ramps up, which is exactly what you would expect, and the precise values I've got there over on the left. When we add the 2.5 millimeter spacer, we already see a dramatic difference at 750 RPM. A noise level of 37 versus 40 dBA is very noticeable. But once the fans really get going, that seems to taper off. But a 5mm spacer is even better. We get lower noise levels all the way up to 1250 RPM. Moving up to a 7.5mm spacer though doesn't really seem to give further improvement. My guess is by this point, all of the fan blade turbulence has been avoided. So Noctua were right, I guess. 5mm uh, seems like the sweet spot. The improvements on radiators though seem to be far less impressive, uh, especially just for your conventional AIO. I tested a 2.5 and a 5 millimeter spacer here, and you know, there is a small improvement at those lower RPMs, but nowhere near as dramatic as what we saw with the vented case panel. This is likely because radiators already have a decent gap between the fins and the radiator mounting, but I'm sure that there are some out there with less of a gap that you'll see a larger difference with. This mod will also work on heat sinks as well. In fact, on my current build when I was previously using the Blackridge air cooler, I saw a massive improvement just by adding a small foam spacer between the fan and the heatsink. So yeah, for super dense heatsinks, this would work extremely well. Most heatsinks out there won't see much of a benefit because they already have a bit of a gap between the heatsink fins and the fan blades, but the Blackridge here for example was a night and day difference. And that's something that these graphs don't necessarily show, which is the pitch and quality of the sound. And funnily enough, that's something that Noctua did see an improvement with in their own testing. Even if there isn't an improvement in the dB or measurable sound level, most of the time there is when it comes to pitch and consistency. It's that choppy turbulence, that annoying humming sound, and reducing those weird high pitch tones. As for airflow performance, Noctua's own testing shows some pretty nice gains. Overcoming the turbulence seems to allow the fan to move more air. 
My own testing is a lot more basic and to summarize, I saw no thermal change at all on our GPU temps when using the spaces on our case fan. And for the AIO testing, I saw a one degree improvement on our liquid temp when rendering with the CPU. Of course here, controlling for things like power output and ambient temp as always. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It is a very basic fan spacer mod, which does make a huge difference to your system depending on how you have your case fan set up. I mean, for a classic NR200 build where you have the fans at the bottom, just adding these can really lower and improve the sound quality of those bottom fans. So of course, I'll leave the 3D model link down below for those of you who want to do the same thing and get that same improvement. And I'll definitely be printing a bunch of these and saving them for future builds.